Alright guys, welcome back to another video and I know in the last tutorial I was like in the future we're going to be looking at these for loops and you're going to be seeing exactly why they are useful. However, I thought I might as well take a break and show you guys a cool little trick, something that I like to do a lot whenever I'm working with programs that simulate, I don't know, like Excel or spreadsheet type programs and that is how to make a cool little table using something called nested for loops, a for loop inside another for loop, like for loopception. So of course the first thing that we need to do is make a couple variables for int columns and int rows. Now using this program we're going to be able to tell it exactly how many rows and how many columns we want to print out. Now eventually if we're reading from a file or something um, we're going to get the number of rows and columns from the data, but for right now we can just input however many we want to print out manually. So, of course, make the first for loop and we want to add some space in there. Now, the first thing we want to do is create the rows. So, put rows equal to 1, that's what you always start at. And for the second parameter, what you do is put less than, or it's technically called the second expression, less than or equal to however many rows you want to create. So let me just uh, pick like six or something. And of course, we're just going to do it one at a time so we can create six. So basically what this for loop is going to do is it's going to loop through six times and I'm going to be printing a new line and I'll actually do that right now. Print F new line right there. So pretty much every time this thing loops, it's going to bump it down to a new line. That's going to create your rows. So every piece of the information that we print out is going to be on a new line, aka new row. So how do we create the columns now? Well, we need to add another for loop and inside this for loop, we'll just go ahead and like print out the number. So print F and we'll just print out, I don't know, like percent D what are you doing cursor? Obviously not the cursor, obviously it was me, but you know, gotta blame it on the cursor, why not? So we're gonna just print out some number right here, and now we have to take care of the columns. So just like before, put columns equal to one, that's where we always wanna start at, and again, just like before, we pretty much now have to say how many columns do we wanna create? Well, what we're gonna do is set this less than or equal to, I'm just gonna put mine at four. So pretty much I'm going to have a table that's six rows by four columns. So 24 elements in my table. And I'll just put columns plus plus. And I'll just go ahead and print out the name of the column right here. So now basically what's going to happen is this. For rows, what I do? Input rows for that. So check this out. As you can see, this first loop right here is going to run six times, and that is responsible for printing a new line every time. And the reason that it bumps down is because of this statement. So it's going to run this, and then bump it down, so that's why it gets six lines. Now on each individual line, all this for loop does right here is it pretty much prints out a number one, space, two space, three space, four space. So it pretty much just loops through and prints out four numbers with the space after it. So whenever we do that for every single line, it pretty much visually looks like columns. So again, this is a way where you can create a fast table. And right now it just says one, two, three, four, not very useful. But whenever you're creating, like I said, a spreadsheet application or a database and you want to print it out to the user, this is pretty much how you say, this is how many rows we want this is how many columns we want and this little script right here creates a nice looking table so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video